Hi, my name is Shane O'Sullivan and this video demonstrates an application that I've written for the Palm Pre and Pixie smartphones called My WebOS Apps. My WebOS Apps is a tool for WebOS developers to keep track of the applications and community around developing WebOS apps. You see here a list of applications that I have in the app catalog including their name, their version, download count, today's download count and rating. You can also get the statistics for each of them, comments, catalog, event timeline, and you can tweet as well. So here you see a graph of the daily downloads for the last month. You see it on the bottom as well, it tells you what the day's count are, is, what the average is, what your best day was. You can graph in daily, weekly, or monthly increments. So here you see the weekly. You can change back to daily now as well. There's multiple plot types, so the one you currently see is column. We also have the line plot type and the area plot type. It's also possible to graph the total downloads of your application as opposed to the comparative. So here we see the, the total graph which shows uh, your downloads hopefully going in an upward, upward direction. So switch back to the comparative. So going back to the main screen, you can also look at the, any of the comments on a particular application. It also tells you how many five star, four star, three star, etc. reviews you got, and you can just scroll down through and see all your different ratings and all your different comments. We also maintain a complete event timeline for each application, telling you exactly everything that has happened with that application. So here you see Mazer was being reviewed, when it was published, when the different versions were published or rejected. It's also possible to tweet about any particular application, which I'll show you in a little bit later. There's a global event timeline that we also maintain. So here you see what happens to all your different multiple applications about when they were first submitted, when they're published and so on, broken down by date. Using my WebOS apps you can also look at the forum posts that you've made and also the latest posts. Here you see a list of the forum posts that I the user has taken part in. You can click in any of these to view the forum post. You can page through it using the back and forward keys. You can also reply to it hitting the button in the bottom right hand side. So here you see paging backwards through the different pages of the post and so on. It's also possible to view the latest posts. These are posts that I have not necessarily taken part in. As with the as we've seen before, you can also go in here and if there's multiple pages you can also page through that. You can also get your financial reports for all the months that you've been selling apps. So it show, shows you the month, the year, and how much you've earned each for each month. Looking at the preferences now, you see at the top we have a polling frequency. My WebOS apps can check the server at an uh, interval chosen by you, 15 minutes, 1 hour or so, whatever, and notify you when your app is shipped. So you get a notifi notification on your phone and it'll buzz. Here you, we also have a Twitter setting which when you give it your account you can tell it to automatically send a message to Twitter when your app ships. You see here it says app title as it explains above the top this is a keyword that will be replaced by the name of the application that shipped. So if you see an example of it here when we go to tweet about a particular application your message is pre-populated for you so you can manually send uh, a tweet this way or you can rely on it to automatically send uh, a tweet update when your app ships. Of course that can be turned off as well. There's also an about scene which explains everything about the application, how to use it and so on. So you see here it explains the preferences, how Twitter works and so on. Uh, it's also possible to back up your data uh, for example, you might want to be wiping your phone in order to install a newer version of, of WebOS as our test version. 
This allows you to back up your entire data onto a, a text file and at a later date you can click the button down the bottom here to restore it again so you know need never lose your data so that's pretty much it webOS app my webOS apps is now available in the app catalog um, so I hope you enjoy using it